Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to route both the AT&T and Verizon Samsung Galaxy S5. There's finally a way, a method to route uh, your device. There is no way not yet to unlock your bootloader, but you can now get root access. This is not a Galaxy S5 actually, this is a Note 3, but uh, the same method will route the AT&T and Verizon Galaxy S5, so I'm just going to show it to you on my Note 3 because I do not have an AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S5, but trust me, it will work just fine on your device. It'll work on other devices as well. I'll post a link to supported devices in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to it again. This will also not trip the Knox warranty flag on your device, so that's uh, good news as well. So first of all, prerequisites. Uh, you need to go ahead and install uh, ES File Explorer on your device. Go ahead and do that now. You can just get it in the Play Store. Also, go ahead and go into the Settings tab. Go ahead and go into general and I believe uh, find security. Actually, it won't be in general. Scroll all the way down and find just find the security icon in your settings and go ahead and check unknown sources. So make sure unknown sources is checked. And that's it, you're ready to go. Uh, you do not need a computer to do this. Actually, we can do this all on your device and we'll be good to go. It should not take a lot of time, so it's gonna be great. Next, you're gonna wanna click on the link in the description of the video. I will uh, post it. Um, I've go ahead and throw, thrown together an article called uh, How to Root AT&T Verizon Samsung Galaxy S5 where I have download links. So you're going to need to download the top two Super SU and Tau Root. You do need ES File Explorer. I link to that in case you don't ha you can't find it in the Play Store and whatnot. So the uh, two downloads you need is Super SU and Tau Root. We can do both of them at, the, um, at once I guess. So the first one is going to be uh, this one. I'm just going to select Chrome and hit Always and then it should go ahead and down, uh, bring it to this website where the download is right here. It's called update super su.zip. Start that download, let, uh, let that run through, download complete to zip file. We'll use ES uh, zip viewer to uh, open that up. Now go ahead and go back to uh, that website that the download link was at and click on towel root. So go ahead and select towel root. It's gonna bring you to that, uh, that page, uh, obviously. So big shout out to GeoHot right here. He is the developer that created this root method. So big thanks to him. Be sure to thank him, donate, whatever you want to do. Um, but go ahead and select this icon to start the download. I'm just going to do Chrome and always once more. It says, do you want to keep this file? Hit OK. Now what that's going to do is download an APK file. You see it's called trtileroot.apk. Go ahead and select it and hit install. It's going to manually install it. Google recommends you do not install this app. I understand and still want to install it. Obviously proceed at your own risk. Um, I have not heard of any brick devices from this, so that's good news as well. So app is installed. Now we are ready to go. The app's installed. What we can do is go ahead and go into your app drawer and find the towel root app. Select it and it says uh, this button right here, make it rain, is the button you want to install root. If your phone reboots, towel root failed. I have heard uh, mixed uh, reports of it rebooting and still working, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit make it rain. It says, uh, you should have root, no reboot required, and that's it. So my phone didn't even reboot. Um, I do have root access now. So uh, we're not done though. We do need Super SU installed on our device. So which is what we downloaded up here, this uh, zip file. So let's go ahead and go into ES File Explorer. In there, we can go into the downloads folder, which is where it should be. And there's that zip file. Select it and go to ES Zip Viewer. Uh, inside you'll see a folder called common, select that and go ahead and select superuser.apk and hit install. It's going to go ahead and install the Super SU application, it says app installed, hit done. So now we're rooted with the Super SU application. Go ahead and select that and it says SU binary needs to be updated. Continue, just go ahead and hit continue. If you have a custom recovery, you do not, um, so go ahead and press normal. This will not allow you to install a custom recovery on your AT&T and Verizon Galaxy S5, so keep that in mind. You need to unlock your bootloader first. There's no way to do that. I will make an updated video if that becomes available, so be sure to subscribe to me. Um, but it says uh, just select normal, and it's going to go ahead and install it depending on what custom recovery you have. As I said, if you have a AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S5, um, you will have just normal recovery. This pop-up has come up. Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit root capabilities. Try and disable Knox. Just go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and attempt to disable the Knox security. Again, this shouldn't have tripped your Knox warranty flag, so you do not have to worry about that. All right, mine's been sitting here for a long time just because uh, I'm impatient. I'm going to just press the back arrow or exit out of it. Um, not exactly sure why it's not working. Maybe it doesn't work on the Sprint Note 3 to disable the Knox security. So we'll see. 
Anyways, um, this should have worked now. Let's go ahead and double check that we have root access. I'm gonna go to the Play Store, and it, I actually have it already. It's called Root Checker by Joey Krim. Go ahead and download and install that from the Play Store just to double check that you have root access. And then it's called Root Checker Basic. I'm gonna go ahead and go to it, agree, hit OK. And now you just wanna hit Verify Root. It's gonna go ahead and run the root check, hit Grant Root Access, and that would be it. We now have root access on our AT&T or Verizon Samsung Galaxy S5, or in this case, the Galaxy Note 3. So that should have worked just fine. It says, congratulations, this device has root access. I would say after you're done doing all that, go ahead and reboot your device just to get things running quickly once more, but that would be it. So congratulations, you have root access on your Verizon AT&T Galaxy S5. Very good news for you owners. It took way too long. Unfortunately, Samsung is taking that route to make it more difficult. Hopefully, it will have a bootloader unlock soon, but hopefully this video helped. Um, honestly, this is one of the easiest root methods you can have. So uh, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. You could also subscribe to me. That would be great. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I will talk to you later.